Hi there you guys! Halloween is coming and I'm coming to you with this tutorial for beaded pumpkins with brick stitch. If you don't know anything about this stitch, don't worry because I'm showing it in absolutely easy steps and I also provide a free pattern that you can use all the time. So no worries, you will be okay doing it you will be able to make them. If you wonder why the pattern looks a little bit different, this is because I used here preciosa beads that are donut shaped and are a little bit larger than the other beads that are perfect square like Mayuki or Aiko treasuries. So it's up to you which ones you use. I think Halloween is not only scary, but it's also has a lot of humor in it. That is why it's like a more caricature look to these pumpkins and uh, they pop out a little bit, they have a bend. So if you do them with preciosa or rounded beads, this is what you can expect. If you don't like this humoristic look, you could uh, use regular beads and they will look more like the pattern. Okay, thank you for all of you that are here. If you want more tutorials like this and you still haven't, please subscribe. Also like, share and comment and you can support me in PayPal or by becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button just to mention that I have two courses waiting for you in the membership area if you decide to join. Thank you so much and without further ado let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and these are the materials that I'm using for this tutorial. I'm using here four colors of 11 seed beads, white, orange, turquoise and black. I'm using Preciosa beads, they are donut shapes, maybe you would like to use Mayuki Delica beads or Aiko treasuries that are more square and in this case uh, your work will look much more like the pattern. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. These are earring findings and these are scissors. If you want to know how to make your own beading pattern, you will find link to two tutorials in description. Okay, let's get started. Okay, my friends, and I'm gonna be using this pattern to create my pumpkin earrings. Here, as you may see, I, I have a row with seven beads. They are not uh, very much visible. This is, these are print issues, but we have them outlined here, okay? So I will start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads, and I will show you how I'm going to add them. Okay, first I take two white beads, I slide those down and then as I'm exiting through one of them I go through the other and I create something like a loop between them and the holes are pointing in this direction and the beads are next to each other. Here I will leave a small tail that later I will use to finish my work, to secure my work. Okay, then I go here in this white bead. I take another white bead and I'm going back through this white and backwards through the one that I just added. Okay, I have three next to each other. Don't worry that they look like this, we'll fix this later. Then I need my fourth one. And as I mentioned, they should be seven in total. Okay, I have my seven. I'm not satisfied how they sit. That is why I'm going to make an additional reinforcement. 
how I do this. I just go through all of them zigzagging. And I have my first row ready, guys. I will consult with my earring. You could do this with your earring or with your pattern. Here I have another row with eight white beads and another row with nine white beads. But how I'm going to add them? Those of you that are familiar with the brick stitch know how but the others don't so I will show it super easy. I take two beads and you see these thread bridges that I have. Between my beads I go through the first one that is between the first and the second white beads that I have. Then I will go through the bead which is closer to the center. Okay, I have two of my eight beads added. How am I going to add the other ones, just one by one, only the first ones I add two at the first step and then all of the others will be added one by one at each thread bridge. I take a bit, I go under the thread bridge, I pull and I go back through the same bead. This is what I do all the time. Okay, I have my second row ready. It consists of eight beads and I just forget to tell you that because I didn't have a spare thread bridge to where to add the last one, I used the same thread bridge that I already have been through with this one. So I used one and the same thread bridge to add the last two. Now I start a next row and it will be absolutely the same like the previous row. I take two seed beads and I go here under the first thread bridge that I have. Why under the first one and not under the second? Well this is because I am increasing which means in the next row I have more beads than in the previous one. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and then like I showed you before I'm adding the beads one by one until the end of this row. Use a thread bridge, go with this bead under it, then go through this bead and in this way I, I'm attaching it to my work. Okay, I'll show it faster and I will come back for the last step. And you see I added one by one all of those beads and now I'm back for the last step where I add my last nine beads at the same thread bridge, guys, that I use for the previous one. This is just because I'm out of thread bridges, but my pattern says that I need to add one more bead and this is the way you should add it. Okay, now I will tap into the colorful part of my work. Here in the next row, I will have 10 beads. I have first two white, then six orange beads, and then two more white beads. Okay, and I'm picking up two beads. I'm going again under the first thread bridge because until the center of my work, it increases each and every row is longer than the previous one. Now guys, I will start picking up orange beads.
here guys I did the same thing I added two beads at my last thread bridge okay now let me take my pattern and I just did this row guys uh, two whites six orange and two white beads and in the next row I need one white one two three four five six seven eight nine orange and one white bead so they will be 11 in total each next row is with one bead more I should pick up first a white and an orange bead and I will go again under the first thread bridge it's all the same just the sequence and the colors of the beads is different the technique will be all the same until the center and then I will show you the decreasing brick stitch from the center on which is also really easy and really similar okay now guys as I said we need nine orange beads I added two so add seven more and I will be back for the last step okay my friends and here I am at my last step where at the same thread bridge I'm adding the last white bead and I have absolutely the same thing that we see on our pattern one white nine orange and one white and let me check what's coming up next so it is this row and now we have one white sorry it's not very visible 10 orange beads and one white if I want a white and an orange after that and I need to pick up two this is what I'm taking and I go under the first thread bridge and I pull and then I go through the one which is closer to the center as before now guys I won't bore you by showing you how I'm adding nine more orange beads I will be back for the last white one okay guys and as I continued adding orange beads at it, each thread bridge until the end now I'm here at the last step where I'm adding my last white bead so I have a white 10 orange beads and a white okay let me see what I have next hmm an interesting row a white that is not very visible two orange beads and then black orange black orange black orange black two orange beads and a white okay so I'm sure you know how to start it already a white and an orange okay then I go under the first thread bridge still increasing and go through the bead which is closer to the center okay then what I said okay let me remind you a white and an orange then one orange and alternate black and orange okay so I need one more orange here because it starts with one white and two orange beads And then cute little black teeth.
point after I'm ready with this part I need two orange and one white. Okay, this is what I have. Then I want to consult with my pattern again. And here another increasing row. After this one, I have white, two orange beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black beads, two orange and one white. And I will start the same way, a white and an orange and go under the first thread bridge. Then I need another orange. And then guys, as I mentioned, I will add eight black beads one by one. And it will be really boring to watch me add eight black beads. So I add just the first one and the then you will add by yourself the next seven and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and now I have eight black beads, one orange. Okay, let me take my pattern and see what I have next. And I have a white, two orange beads, then black, orange, black, orange, black, orange, black, orange, black, two orange beads and a white. Okay, and because I'm sure that you get this technique, just pause on this frame like this and make this row by yourselves and I'll be back uh, to show you how it looks on my work. So see you in a while. Okay, guys, and I hope that you did this row. If, you, if not, it's not late. Just pause on this frame and repeat these colorful steps that we have in it and the technique that I was showing all the time. Or you could rewind on the pattern, whatever it, it's easier for you. Now let me consult for the next row. Okay, and guys, the next row is the largest, the longest row in our work. Okay, and it consists of two white beads, one orange, a black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orange beads, one black, one orange, and two white beads. Okay, pause on this pattern, do this largest longest row and I'll be back okay guys and this is the longest row in my work I hope you were able to do this by yourself if not you could always rewind this video okay and now I'm next to the following row which is already decreasing what I mean by that is that it has less beads than in the previous one and decreasing rows will be up until the end of our work so it starts with a white and an orange then one two three four five more orange so one white six orange one black six orange and one white bead if it starts with white and orange this is exactly what i'm going to pick up in my first step so as I'm exiting from this white bead, this time because I decrease guys, there is a slight difference. I'm not going through the first thread bridge, but I will go through the second thread bridge. This is because I have less beads in the next row. Okay, so between the white and the orange bead, this thread bridge. Okay, and then I go again the same way 
through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. But I don't like how these beads sit next to each other because they stretch as they go under the second thread bridge instead of the first one. That is why I'm going to reinforce them and make them stay in a better shape. Okay, you see how they arrange beautifully next to each other when I go one more time around them. So I set white and six orange. I have the first orange added and I will add the other ones. So until the end of this row it is absolutely the same way. You add them one by one at the thread bridges and I will be back for the last step. Just to reiterate you need six orange. You have already two added. So four more orange, one black, six orange and one white. Okay. Do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and here what I need to add is just one white bead to finish my work and you see here I'm not adding two beads at the last thread bridge just because I don't need to add any more beads. It's not in my pattern. When I decrease I usually don't add two beads at one thread bridge at the last step. Okay then I will show you again how I'm doing uh, decreasing brick stitch because if you're not familiar it will be difficult for you in the beginning but it's so close to the increasing one that you won't have any problem so here I need a white and an orange and one more orange after that so I take a white and an orange and I go under the second thread bridge that I have here between the first and the second orange beads that because I decrease. So one of the differences between increasing and decreasing is that with the increasing you go through the first thread bridge and with the decreasing you go through the second and then you go through the same bead which is closer to the center of your work. And then what I need to do is to reinforce I always reinforce when I do decreasing brick stitch because my beads stretch, they look wonky and because I go through the second thread bridge and that is why I need to reinforce them. Okay and as I said here I need one more orange bead. Okay let me uh, take here the other earring instead of the pattern and what I have here are three black beads, two orange beads, three black beads, two orange beads and one white bead. Okay and I'm sure that you're gonna be able to add them by yourself because they are just one by one added following the sequence that I mentioned. Okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys and I added the mentioned sequence and here I am at my last white bead. Again I don't add two beads at the last thread bridge when I do decreasing brick stitch and now I'll show you for the third time how I start decreasing brick stitch and from there on I'm sure you will be able to do this by yourself. So let me check what's coming up next. So I just did this row where I start the eye with the three black beads and now I'm here I need a white and an orange then again orange, two black, three orange, two black, two orange and one white bead. Okay let me start with the first step with white and orange. Okay again as I mentioned from here on I will be going under the second thread bridge all the time between the second and the third orange. Going back through the bead which is closer to the center and then reinforcing to make the bead stay nice and tight next to each other. Just like this. Then as I mentioned I need another 
another orange and now from here on I have this sequence to black and continue and I'm sure guys that if I pause like this you will be able to do everything from here on by yourself and I will meet you here at the top okay so do all of these rows by yourself the same way using this pattern and I'll meet you okay my friends and I'm tempted to jump in with a little bit of my progress this is what I have and now continue again until the end following this pattern here okay guys and here I am at my last step of my earrings if you haven't done them it's never late to go back rewind and do them now I will show you how I'm attaching my earring finding now what I want to do is to go backwards through this white and through this turquoise just like this then I go through the turquoise and through this white bead backwards then I take four white beads and earring finding and I go here in this white bead and I have this then I want to zigzag a little bit and reinforce this loop of beads here okay now my friends what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread okay I go through some beads in this direction and I will make a loop like that go twice through it pull it and go in this direction and I'm going to cut this tail thread then guys I will put my needle on this end I will zigzag uh, make a knot and cut this tail thread as well okay guys and now my Halloween pumpkin earrings with brick stitch are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't also please like share and comment support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with a lot of perks that you could check in description and at the join button just to mention that I have two courses for you there waiting in the membership area thank you so much for staying here with me and being with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching